In a couple of years, the Commonwealth will begin one of the biggest ecological interventions in our history, using herpes to get rid of the problem fish. But researchers are worried about the side effects. Biological controls have been used in Australia before. Some have been successful. Prickly pear, for example, was almost completely wiped out by an introduced moth. But there have also been massive failures. The cane toad is infamous for the carnage it caused after it was brought in to stop the sugarcane beetle. Bitty Bush too aimed to stop sand dune erosion, but destroyed native plants and habitats. Nicola Gage reports on the plans for Carpageddon. It is a, potentially a massive problem that people haven't thought through. And so we're suggesting that a virus is probably not the right way to go. Fisherman Gary Harrising has questioned whether removing so many dead fish is realistic. He says the process can't be rushed and wants other removal options to also be explored. The original proposal about using genetics over a longer time frame was a smart move. This kind of project on such a large scale is unprecedented in Australia. A string of government approvals will be needed as well as support from the public. And there's a possibility that communities along the river will be tasked to help with the clean up. There's also the question of removing potentially millions of tonnes of rotting fish. How that will happen is still being investigated. There's a lot of things we need to determine. Um, but so far my research does indicate that there will be huge side effects for the rest of the ecosystem. Small changes in oxygen levels can potentially have big ramifications for native wildlife. So University of Adelaide researchers have been putting dead carp into 800 litre tubs of water to try to measure the amount of oxygen the decomposing fish use up. Although the work is in its early stages, it's showing some dramatic results. We found that uh, at 20 degrees, one carp can rem almost completely remove oxygen from the water in, in less than 48 hours. Probably going to need to have some sort of complementary broad scale control mechanism uh, to work with it, um, to take full advantage of the virus. For a, a long time we thought uh, that complementary approach might be so-called daughterless carp uh, technology. Um, whether that occurs or not, we're not sure now, but... Uh... Um, initially, um, it was a partnership between the Murray-Darling Basin Authority um, and the CRC allocating funds to the CSIRO to develop um, genetic modifications which would bias the sex ratio and control the reproductive potential of carp. And that strategy, um, the modelling suggests, may be effective at controlling carp in the long term, but it was a really long period of, until we would see the outcome of that control. If the risks that are borne out of the legislative approval process and the public consultation process can't be resolved, uh, clearly this won't go ahead.